One for all, all for one. I am Atos. Today, especially for Aito, or international team of Minecraft server developers, I will help you install Optifine along with Minimap on Fabric version 1.24. To begin with, we need to download some files. You will find links to each of them in the description. The first file goes to Fabric itself. We download it by clicking on Download Universal Jar. Next, we install the Fabric API. We go to the Files tab and look for the version we are interested in. In this case, it's 124. And then we download it. The next target is Mod Menu. Here, we also go to the Files tab, look for the version we are interested in, and download it. All we have left to download are the files for Optifine and Minimap. To do this, we go to the official Optifine website and to the Download tab. We expand the tab under the version we are interested in and then download our Optifine by clicking on the mirror of the last file and on the Download button. To make our Optifine to work on Fabric, we need to install a mod called OptiFabric. As before, we click on Files, on the version we are interested in, and on the Download button. All that is left is a minimap. We will be using Xaeros minimap today. We go into Files and look for the version we are interested in and the name of Fabric. Science Forge is also located here. We click on 124 Fabric and we download it. But what's a minimap when we can't see the world map? Therefore, we install the last file called Xyros world map. We go into files and here we are equally careful to click on 124 fabric, not forge, and we download. After downloading all the files, we enter our Minecraft launcher and we have to run it at least once on version 124. After launching, we can close it. Next, we run our Fabric Installer, not to be confused with the Fabric API. A magic window pops up for us. We make sure we have Minecraft version 124 selected and click Install. Then we go to our .minecraft folder. To enter it, we click the window stamp and the letter R like Romeo. We type percent appdata percent and click enter. At the very top of the folder, we can see our .minecraft folder and we go into it. And here I recommend you to make a shortcut to it on your desktop so you will have easier access to it. To do this, we copy the location of our folder. On desktop, we right-click, create a new shortcut, paste the location of our folder, click Next and Finish. There should be a mods folder in the .minecraft folder. If it's not, there you should create one. Go into it and upload all the other files here. Then close the folder. 
launch Minecraft launcher, select fabric version and click play. After launching Minecraft and entering the world, we can see this distinctive minimap in the upper right corner. This means that the installation of our mod was successful and we can enjoy the game. Thanks to Octifine, by using the C key like Charlie, we can zoom in on what we want to see, just like with a spyglass. And here's an interesting fact, if we use a spyglass and zoom in with Optifine, we will double this zoom effect. Thanks to Optifine, we can use the beautiful inventions, shaders, because why can't we beautify the gym play for ourselves? To use them, we click the escape button, options, video settings, and shaders. And the basic case to use the minimap are M, like Mike, shows us a map of the world, B, like Bravo, set as waypoint, and Y, like Yeti, opens the minimap settings for us.